answers. Welcome to the Ask the Experts show with local celebrity hosts, Steve-O and Renee. Sit back each week while Steve-O and Renee educate you with live in-studio experts, such as lawyers, doctors, home improvement, and financial experts in their field. Call in and have your questions answered each week at 888-565-1470. Now, here is Steve-O and Renee with today's expert. In Good afternoon. Field. And welcome to another Ask the Experts. We are so excited today about our guest. We're always excited, but especially today. Especially today. I'm here with my co-host, my beautiful co-host, Renee. Sucking up, huh? You bet. <laughs> Every minute Smart I Smart man. Every, listen, I suck up to Freddie, too, our production <laughs> people. Why not? <laughs> I know who helps pay the, our way, right? I think you should suck up to Spencer right next to you. Oh, I am. Listen, <laughs> I told you. So anyway, Renee and I develop Ask the Experts because there is so much information, educational information, that we do never, we never get in, and we work in the areas of health, legal, financial, and home improvement. Today probably fits into a little legal, a little financial. Mostly legal. Yeah. We, I mean, we are so blessed to have the people that we have, the experts. So let's Top hop in the field. Oh, and if you want to watch our show right now, because we are live in studio, go to www. Stop with the W's. It's WWNN TV. WWNN dot com. And you go onto the left hand side of the page. And it says WWNN TV. You click on there, and while it sounds so difficult, <laughs> I love saying WWW. I know, but you confuse people. Anyway, okay, so let's and welcome. If they want to call in, yes. If you would like to call in and ask our first guest here, um, John Quirk, our phone number here is 888 565. 1470. That's 888 565 1470. Now we can get to the business of the day. Okay, so let's welcome private investigator John Quirk of Spencer Investigations. He's actually the marketing director. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Good to be here. So we're so excited about today's show. We actually spent a couple of hours with you talking, and he's a very interesting man, oh, by the way. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Tell everybody a little bit of background about your company. Okay, well we have three companies. We have Spencer Investigations, which is a licensed Florida private investigative company. Then we have a company called Asset Location and Recovery, which mainly does international consulting in the area of white collar crime and locating and recovering money overseas, money that's taken as a result of crime. And we have a small database called the Fraud Database. We have about 100,000 fraudsters inside that database. Just in Boca. <laughs> <laughs> he runs the whole gamut. He I really know. does. I know. And you've written books and articles. So tell everybody about that. Well, I've written about 10 books and a number of articles. I write for the American Bar Association and National Security. I've taught 12 years in France at the Center for Diplomatic and Strategic Studies, about a year and a half in Turkey. I teach intelligence. I teach U.S. foreign policy. And, and that's not to be intelligent. That's not to be <laughs> intelligent. It's uh, the collection of information. <laughs> yes, we get that. Covert and overt. And then uh, in my private side, uh, that's kind of my uh, uh, se separate side of what I do academically. On my private side, we run investigative services, which runs the whole gamut of what we call today's private investigative world. Wow. You know, John has also testified to the Intelligence Committee. House Intelligence correct? Committee. Testified uh, before the House Intelligence Committee, Congressman Dornan's Committee on KGB operations in the United States. And um, I've taught uh, at a number of uh, federal uh, agencies, mainly talking about intelligence, anti-terrorism, and how to collect information, how to legally collect both overt and covert information. This is like big time now. It and really and, is. And John's taught on national security. and I mean, I bet I would love to know the stuff he can't tell us he does. That's the neat stuff. Um, and you know what? I'm... I'm I think you've done stuff against the mafia too. You've no, not really. I've never worked against the mafia, but that's why he's still here. 
<laughs> we've done we've done cases against uh, you know foreign intelligence services that are engaged in financial crime, or basically white collar criminals. Okay. Now, let's talk about Spencer Investigations. Now, how long have you been in business? Spencer's been in, vis in business for about 15 years, and it it's, does several specialty types of investigation. It does due diligence bank searches and important background checks and they do the whole range of investigative work and you know the idea of a private investigator the old idea was a gumshoe or humphrey bogart or uh, philip marlowe or a private detective or, or detective <laughs> <laughs> or, or worse the pink panther that's that's a bad example but today uh it's often referred to as corporate intelligence and today's private investigator has access to very sensitive financial databases, background checks, sometimes better than even law enforcement or the intelligence community. Uh, what's happened over the last few years, if you combine phone lines, the computer, and databases, it makes it easier to get more information but what we look for is information that other people can't get. Right. And I wanted to mention that. There's a lot of information on the Internet. Right, because you could go on the Internet and get a background check. You could pay for one of those. But tell people why that's not a good idea. Well, part of it isn't a good idea because a lot of the information is old. Right. They may give you a criminal background check, at, but not tell you that it's either a misdemeanor or a felony. So let me just ask you something. If you live in Florida and you do a background check on somebody, does it show if they've had anything else in other states? Yes. Oh, it yes. does. Okay. Let me tell you, it's a good question. Let me tell you what a background check is. And a lot of people should do it with identity theft just to run their own background. It would give you all their associates, their relatives, if they've been involved in any lawsuits, automobile accidents really if they have a criminal check whether it's a misdemeanor or a felony uh, it would give you their phones it would give you companies that are defunct it would give you any lawsuits that's called the general background check now if you want to go further and deeper you need a private investigator to say okay he had a felony for say running a Ponzi scheme I need documents to, s to prove that. A background check is basically intelligence. Well, you're not going to hire them if you found that out, though. Well, like if you're looking to hire somebody. <laughs> well, it's, it, let, me, let me tell you something. One out of 225 million Americans has a felony. Right. And the government has just started a program to expunge felony records because so many people have it. We do that, too. We expunge felony records, but not misdemeanor records. But That's it's interesting. It's you would think the other, the, would, I would think misdemeanor. Yeah, the, well, it's a government program that helps you get rid of the felony. Then the state either gives them forgiveness, expunges it, and then the most important thing for people is to get it out of the private databases. Because, let me give you an example. If you're arrested for shoplifting, and you're pulled into court, and you beat it, and you plead not guilty, and you're let go, it can still stay in the database that you're arrested. Wow, on. that's crazy. So you have to expunge that. Yes. Else, you cannot get, often it's difficult to rent a car, to go to school, to get an apartment, or get a job. Right. The, when we do a background, we get 40 to 50 pages on it, and we call that rather soft intelligence. People look at it and say, hey, that's good intelligence. How many UCC filings and so on? What that does is then lead to the next aspect of private investigation, finding assets. Right. Assets are banks, how much money you have in Merrill Lynch and so Overseas? on. Overseas. Can we you find that out? Yes, we find money in Switzerland, Caymans, Bermuda, Gibraltar, and if, we... Maybe uh, they'll find me some money. We, <laughs> and we observe the law in doing it. You have to be careful that the investigator follows the Privacy Act and the Banking Act, and there's a whole range of things that a private investigator can do that law enforcement can't do. And there are things that law enforcement can do that a private investigator can't do. And sometimes when you combine them, it makes a good team, especially in Florida here where there's probably 50 different kinds of fraud. It's the scam capital of the world. 
down here in South Florida. Yeah, you were telling us that the other day. That's crazy. There's investment fraud, Federal Reserve fraud. There's uh, West African fraud. So why is it so prevalent it. here? It's prevalent because there's a lot of money. Miami up to Jupiter is like the new Casablanca. We have Latin America. It's the capital of Latin America. We have Russian mafia, Israeli mafia. We have people that cash out uh, from New York and New Jersey and move down here and buy a nice house. We have a lot of money here, and unfortunately, we have a lot of seniors, and there's a lot of senior fraud here. Fraud against seniors. Yes. Oh, I'm sure. The, the biggest fraud is investment fraud. Okay. And there's probably 40 different kinds of investment fraud private placement, stock, real estate. Madoff, for instance, there were probably there were 15,000 victims of the Madoff fraud. 4,000 of them were in South Florida, where they lost wow. everything. And the thing about hiring a private investigator, if they would have spent 1000 or $2,000 to do a background check... On Bernie. On Bernie or any kind of fraudster, they would find out that it's better to do a background check and spend a few dollars, then lose ten, fifteen, or a hundred thousand dollars. Right. So some of these senior citizens get letters in the mail that you owe money, or for investments, or they get phone calls and they're not aware. So we have to make them aware There's of what to one. look the for. The IRS people are getting emails from the IRS and the FBI. They they do things, and you know the West Africans send ten million emails, texts. And, and letters a year. It's all out of Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone, and we've had prominent people and lawyers lose lots of money in these frauds. They're all frauds. And now the fraudsters, if you respond to them, they have the ability to get your email information, then your username and password, oh, wow. and get into your bank accounts. They're very sophisticated. And also, you know what? I would think if a person's going through a divorce, hidden assets, I would think a company like yours So would you be handle that also like forensic? Right. I write articles for Family Lawyer magazine mainly on how to locate assets in divorce cases. For, here's, the, here's the triumvirate, if you will, when you're doing a case. A lawyer, a forensic accountant, and an investigator when you're doing a divorce case. But in the beginning, it's good to check out your lawyer. It's good to check out the forensic accountant so you don't so spend do you a lot of money. So how do you check them out? Yeah, how do you check them out? We do a background check. We oh, check you do that. Okay. Yeah. We do backgrounds. We check their assets. In investment fraud, a lot of people come on. We've had people in Boca Raton that drive a big Jaguar or Bentley that have expensive suits. But if you do a background, you may find that they have $80 in their <laughs> bank account. They really didn't go to the Wharton School of Business, even though they put it on their resume. And they've got a long history of defrauding other people. And there's so much money in the United States. And over the last 20 to 30 years, there's so much wealth. The proliferation of fraudsters has increased dramatically. And law enforcement can't keep up with it. Law enforcement tries to do the best but they can't keep up with all the frauds. And the amount of fraud and the amount of money that is defrauded is increasing dramatically. Now, your, your office, do you cover Dade also and Broward and Palm Spencer Beach? Spencer Investigations covers Dade, Palm Beach, Broward, and then my company, We 98% of our work as consultants is overseas. We locate and recover money in all the banking havens, Switzerland, Caymans, Guernsey, Cyprus, the Cook Islands. If the money has been defrauded and put overseas in a trust or a private bank, that's what we do. Spencer specializes in background checks, bank searches, which is very important, asset searches, and then very specific criminal background checks where we also get the records to prove that the person had a felony or a misdemeanor. That's very you, important. You said you handle expungements also. We also expunge. We expunge felonies. We don't expunge misdemeanors. Right. But if you're an employer, you should run a detailed background check, and I wouldn't recommend you go to the Internet. There's a lot of Internet, not scams, but the information is very old. It's inaccurate. You can pay $75 and get very bad work product. We issue written reports and detailed reports, 
and we do also research on the internet but we call that soft intelligence we like to get covert information so if you want the honey you have to get in the hive <laughs> You Let's, have to pay for it. You know what? We need to take a break. Okay. And when we get, I love listening to John. I just get mesmerized. Just, I mean, I could just you sit and and all day long. So let's go to break, and when we come back, we have more with John Quirk. I'm excited about today's show. We'll see you on the other side. Okay. If you need a private investigator in Palm Beach, Broward, or Dade counties, call the top private investigating agency in Florida. Spencer Investigations. They are affordable and will meet your expectations and satisfy your needs and demands. With over 20 years of experience, Spencer Investigations specializes in locating missing persons, criminal investigations, conducts anti-counterfeiting, and surveillance. They also work in the areas of investment fraud, Ponzi's, and investment scams. Call Spencer Investigations at 561-305-2066. They also handle bank asset search, comprehensive backgrounds, corporate intelligence, and divorce investigations. Spencer Investigations provides diligent, dedicated, and responsive services that cater to the unique requirements of each of their clients. Their investigations are thorough, professional, efficient, and cost-effective. Spencer Investigations are licensed private investigators with an office in Boca Raton. Call them at 561-305-2066 or go to their website www.spencerinvestigations.com. License number for Spencer Investigations, Inc. A. 250162. Hi, I'm Steve O with the Ask the Experts radio show. Join my co host Renee and I every Friday as we interview some of the most prominent professionals in Palm Beach and Broward County. Each week we combine educational information on a variety of topics with a touch of humor and entertainment in the areas of legal, health, financial, and home improvement so you can be more informed. We offer interviews on such topics as family law, foreclosure defense, estate planning, sleep apnea, roof repair, funeral pre-needs, mold and mildew, alcoholism addiction, and even a show that teaches you how to buy a new and used car from one of the top dealerships in South Florida. If you have a business and would like to be part of the Ask the Expert show, contact us at 954-336-3767. Position your company as an expert in your field. Call Ask the Experts radio show at 954 954- 336-3767. Be sure to catch our show every Friday from 4 to 5 p.m. or watch our show live at WWNNRadio.com and click on the WWNN TV link. And we are back with a special, special guest, John Quirk of Spencer's Investigation. Hey, John, let's talk about white-collar crime. How does someone know when to contact law enforcement or to contact a private investigator? Well, law enforcement, it's a good question. Law enforcement is on the federal level, the state, and the local level. Local police now have economic crime units. FDLE, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, has a very good economic crime unit. And the FBI, our whole alphabet soup on the federal level does some type of financial crime investigations. You have FBI, Secret Service investigates uh, counterfeiting of money, bank fraud, credit card fraud, Ponzi's. ATF investigates guns, uh, transfers, smuggling. Secret Service, as I mentioned, investigates uh, counterfeiting. Uh, you have uh, the Treasury Department has their own investigators. IRS Criminal Investigative Division investigates white collar crime. And the FBI, and I wrote a book on the FBI, I studied the 250 violations that Congress has them investigate. They really focus on 40 major crimes, but they do financial uh, crimes, Ponzi's, and they develop cases of conspiracy, fraud, mail fraud, and money laundering. The problem is the FBI only takes now multi-million dollar cases or if there's lots of victims. If there's 2,000 Medicare victims, they will investigate that. But if you as an individual lose $250,000, don't bother going to the FBI. They won't take the case. I Can you ever that. get that money back if you're defrauded? Yes, there's ways to do it. Now, on the federal level, 
you have a new type of uh, asset forfeiture department, which was never uh, around before. If you, are, if you are found guilty of a financial crime and you are sent to jail, you are ordered to do restitution. That restitution before was very weakly enforced. Now the feds are enforcing it more and making people pay the money back. But, but how do they do that if they're in prison? Well, they do it. They do it by uh, seizing assets. They uh -huh. do it by keeping in perpetuity the money that the person owns, even if he spends 20 years in jail. Or the person can cut a deal with the feds sometimes and get money from the family to pay other people back. Now, the economic crime units, they, they have a different level of quality depending on if you're in a big town, a little town. They may not have the trained staff to do it. They would investigate senior fraud. You know, if people are trying to rip you off on your driveway or selling you shutters or things like that, or embezzling money up to, say, $150,000, that's called capital theft. And there's a whole system that you do. But what people don't realize, you cannot just call and make a complaint anymore to FDLE, the FBI, or the Economic Crime Unit. You have to put it in writing. And that's where private investigators, especially our firm, we specialize in developing a case book. We run a background, we find the assets, we obtain documents, we put it together in a package, and the client presents that to law enforcement. It wow, saves okay. months and months of time because then law enforcement can look at it and say, hey, looks like probable cause. Looks like a right. duck, talks like a duck. It's probably a duck. The guy stole the money. Or they may say, hey, you made a bad investment. You were dumb, okay? The guy didn't steal the money. He invested the money. Or he took the money and he paid his mortgage payment and he paid his car payment, that's fraud, okay? So there are so many levels of fraud, people that steal $100 up to millions of dollars, and the local economic crime unit can handle some of them, the state police, and then the federal level. It all is based on the threshold. For instance, the feds prefer to investigate somebody that has a prior felony, that has stolen lots of money, and there's lots of victims. The economic crime unit prefers to have unbelievable evidence and documents to do that. Now, the private investigator can get a lot of that information before the police can. The police can subpoena bank records, but the private investigator well, you're can going run after somebody's directly. bank. Right, exactly. We, we can find a bank account in, in about a week, mm -hmm. okay? And as long as we do it legally, and every state has different laws on pretexting, which is human intelligence, on collecting Como, toll calls, fi uh, phone records, and then assets. Assets are not just real estate. You get that in a background check. Assets, how much do they have in the bank, the name of the bank, the address? Do they have a trust or a Merrill Lynch? Is it a family trust? What's the name of the trust? Who manages the trust? He's got and it all so down packed, wow. let me tell you. Give everybody your phone number. Yeah, our phone number is 561-305-2066. You know, I want to say something because this is just bringing back memories. I sent like $25,000 worth of product to somebody, They pay, and they sent it to FedEx. It was COD, had to be a cashier's check. They gave the person, they gave FedEx a cashier's check for $25,000. What we didn't know is the cashier's check was no good. It was fake. What I learned is they can make something look just as good, but here's the part where somebody like John's company could really take over. I called the FBI because it's cross state lines. When I told them it was 25000 they almost laughed at me. It's like, we don't have time to do that. And then I called the local police, and they told me, ah, they're probably gone by now. I got so what do you know. do in cases like that? Well, it, you must hire an investigator who can put together the case file, okay? Most people think private investigators, like in divorce cases, just do surveillance or they wiretap, which is a felony. You can't wiretap. Right. And you can't pull somebody's credit. That's a felony, too. So what you have to do is you have to pretext people. That's been upheld by the court. 
Let me give you an example Meaning of what? pretext. All right. I would call you, but I would know you, Renee. I would do a background on you first. And I'd say, oh, you're from Philadelphia. Oh, you're of Turkish descent. I win you over. In the first 45 minutes, we become friends. The next conversation, you start opening up to me. You get more intelligence from human pretexting than database information. What a private investigator does is combine pretexting, bank searches, and background checks. You put that together in a case book, and if it's good, no police department will reject it. They can't reject it. Wow, that's perfect. But you, you have got to hire someone like John. You absolutely. Really <laughs> Especially if you have a big deal that you're working on, you want to check out the people you're going to be doing business with. If it's a divorce and you think your spouse is hiding assets, there's just... Or cheating. <laughs> <same difference. laughs> but, I mean, there's... You know, here we, we've gone 30 minutes, and we just, like... Touched upon touched things, upon. yes. We've got, I mean, and thank God, John's going to be with us every month, which is really great. And next time, we're really going to zero in on, again, a white collar. We're going to zero in. I know we're going to get calls today about divorce. My spouse, I think he's hiding. So we're not the ones to call. Well, that's very prevalent. Yes. So, I mean, and Spencer's investigation has been around for a long time. If you only he knew is, all let me tell you something. Background. He is the expert. That's he all I'm saying. He really is. The expert. And we just so enjoyed having you on with us today. It goes by fast, doesn't it? I told it goes you by fast. Said, it enjoyed goes by it. so fast. And I know this is the kind of show you're Well, going give your phone number again. Thank you. It's 561 305 2066. And our website is www.spencer.com investigations.com perfect and you know what if you want to watch today's show go back to www renee no not www renee www. thank you i didn't know i had my own website www.nnradio.com <laughs> you'll see right in the left hand side of the page it says wnn tv click there and probably late, probably this evening, it'll be up. Uh, today's show will be up, but you'll have from now on, you'll be able to go and actually watch the show. I would want to watch the show again. There was so much great information. It really was. And John's going to be with us every month. And we might even get John to do a national security show because what's going on in this world right now is scary. And if you don't know that, you you've need been, to know. You've been hiding your head in wrong places. So we're going to be back in a, in a right after on the other side from our commercial. With Leader and Leader. Leader and Leader, the most incredible criminal law firm. And we will see you on the other side. If you need a private investigator in Palm Beach, Broward, or Dade Counties, call the top private investigating agency in Florida. Spencer Investigations. They are affordable and will meet your expectations and satisfy your needs and demands. With over 20 years of experience, Spencer Investigations specializes in locating missing persons, criminal investigations, conducts anti-counterfeiting, and surveillance. They also work in the areas of investment fraud, Ponzi's, and investment scams. Call Spencer Investigations at 561-305-2066. They also handle bank asset search, comprehensive backgrounds, corporate intelligence, and divorce investigations. Spencer Investigations provides diligent, dedicated, and responsive services that cater to the unique requirements of each of their clients. Their investigations are thorough, professional, efficient, and cost-effective. Spencer Investigations are licensed private investigators with an office in Boca Raton. Call them at 561-305-2066 or go to their website www.spencerinvestigations.com. License number for Spencer Investigations, Inc. A. 2500162. Hi, I'm Steve O with the Ask the Experts radio show. Join my co host Renee and I every Friday as we interview some of the most prominent professionals in Palm Beach and Broward County. Each week we combine educational information on a variety of topics.